guys, welcome back. I wanted to show you a quick um, book that I purchased for a journaling project to go with the new cards that I purchased. So this one is called The Pirate Tarot. Uh, I got it from Amazon, sorry about the glare. It was cheap, the deck is, I think, uh, well, I'm not gonna lie, it's not the best made deck. The, the card stock is pretty flimsy and the cards are huge. Here, I'll show you. Um, but I got them for a particular purpose. Obviously this is part of it, but here's what the cards look like. And there's my hand. It's a, it's a pretty giant deck <laughs> and I'm not the, the card stock is glossy, which whatever. Um, it doesn't come with a guidebook necessarily, but it does come with a pamphlet that tells you a little bit about the cards. And then you get a couple of extra cards that tell you tells you about the deck. And then the box kind of has an overview here. Let me, I'll read this to you. It, uh, it says, designed by Carrie and Lucas. I'm not going to say this right. Omadio. Illustrated by Liz Gallendorf Harper. From the beginning of time, sailors have been a superstitious lot, and they have used any method available to bring good luck and protection their way. One technique dealt with fortune telling using tarot. Meet here a colorful cast of fantasy pirates from elegant lady captains and playful cabin boys to crusty old sailors. My wife and I came up with the idea of this deck in early 2006. We were looking at making a deck that could be engraved on wood. We originally thought about making this deck as woodcuts, but when we found an artist, Liz Harper, otherwise known as Gallendorf, her work can be found at www.gallendorf.com. We worked that spring to make the first 22 cards of the deck, the Major Arcana. We engraved them onto cherry wood and sold them through our company, Dragonfire laser crafts. The following spring we finished the deck seen here in its entirety for the first time. We made it playful and fun but still tried to ensure the cards have meaning. We hope that you enjoy it. So that tells a little bit about the deck and the inspiration for the deck and it makes sense um, now when I look at them why the cards present the way that they do. So you can see here uh, try not to get the glare, but you can see here that it's basically a picture of what this would look like engraved on the wood. So it's pretty cool, actually, uh, now that I have a little bit more information about it. Um, I <clears throat> I kind of wish they would have just had the cards and it not had this giant word pirate down the side here, a little distracting. I may modify the deck and just bring it down to the artwork. But I think the back of the card, definitely I'll lose some of the pirate or it would be really close. So I'll have to see. I have one of these cards to the side that I can practice with, so I'll do that. But I think the deck is, it, uh, I love the colors of it. I found this piece of fabric to make a, a bag for it. I thought that matched really well. And I'll just kind of go through here some of the cards. So here's your fool and they've got their um, little uh, bag, bag. <laughs> little mug of beer, um, not a care in the world out there on the waves and kind of precariously rocking along on the boat and they have like their little bag of possessions here on the side. So that's your fool. I don't know what that is, I'm gonna skip it. Oh, magician, this would be the magician <laughs> with all of his tools of the trade down here. The figurehead. The empress, can you see that okay? Color, a little shadowy there. There's the emperor. The bus, 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 bosun? <laughs> <laughs> what that means. I'll have to do some more reading up on the deck. Here's the rendition of the lovers. The chariot. That one's kind of fun. Here's your little dolphins pulling the boat along. The hermit. The 
the winds. I would guess that one's the world, maybe? Or the Wheel of Fortune? I'll have to do look. I'm new at this whole thing, so what's in position 10? What is it? Justice. That one's a pretty cool card. Sorry about the lighting, it's overcast and a little snowy. The Hanged Man. Death. Ooh. Temperance. The Devil. The Tower. That's actually a really pretty cool card. I may try to refilm the walkthrough of this tomorrow when the lighting is better. The Star. The Moon. The Sun. Little kitty cat out there with its prize. Its little fish enjoying the sun. Little satisfied look on its face. <laughs> the Plank. Ooh, look at these little pointy <laughs> swords go walk the plank. And all the open shark mouths down there at the bottom. The world. And then it starts into the minor arcana. So there's your ace of coins, which would be pentacles. Look at a couple of those. So I really do like these. These are really cute. I just, I'm not sure if I like the size of them, but that's all right. So cabin boy of coins, first mate of coins, lady captain of coins, there's a little treasure chest there, captain of coins, and then into the cups. Two cups, three, four, five. I'll just skip through some of these. Eight, ten, captain, and here's your ace of pistols. Three of pistols. Oh, I see. One, two, three, five, nine. Ooh, this poor guy. One leg there. Ten. Hmm, that makes sense. And swords would be last here. Two of swords. Three of swords, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's your cabin boy, first mate. Lady Captain, Captain, oh, and Pistols, oh, and Strength. I had this pulled out. The Strength card is always one of my favorites. So anyway, that's the deck, and I picked this book up, guys, at the Dollar Tree. The Book of Pirates, A Guide to Plundering, Pillaging, and Other Pursuits. One dollar. And this isn't a paper cover, this is actually the book itself. And I love this. I love the color of it. I think it's perfect for this project. It was a $13 book, one buck at the Dollar Tree. And look at the inside of it. Isn't that fun? And it, I think it matches the artwork or the idea of the artwork of this deck perfectly. And I think if I can deconstruct this carefully, it'll make a really fun journal. And if I take it apart correctly, 
I can reuse um, a lot of the pages in here and make them part of the journal. What is piracy? I mean, there's just so many really cute um, decorations in here and um, explanations about pirate life. Talk like a pirate. <laughs> anyway, I just, I really thought this was fun and I had already had the deck ordered. So when I picked this up for a buck, I thought that was like just a big old score. So I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna try to deconstruct this and use the outside of it for my journal and then cut some journal pages for it. Look at this. I'm just in it for the rum. <laughs> How much fun is that? So I just really, really love this. And I love it so much. There was one more there. I went and picked up the other copy that was there. I'm either going to give it as a gift. Um, we live at a lake. And yes, I know probably pirates were not at our lake. But you never know. They could have been. <laughs> Uh, but you know, when you live at the water, like all those things kind of speak to you. So I'm either going to give the second copy to um, a friend for Christmas and wrap it up with some Captain Morgan's rum and a pirate glass and something fun like that. Um, or I'm just going to use it as my house for decor. I haven't quite decided yet. Anyway, I wanted to show you the book that I got to go with the deck of cards. And then I wanted to show you what I want to pair it with. Um, it's actually going to pair with my Dame Darcy Mermaids Tarot. And I just really love the aesthetic of these two decks together. I think the colors just match really nicely. Um, and the artwork is, you know, it's, it's, it, this is not Dame Darcy. <laughs> The, the artwork is not going to come close to what you're seeing over here, but it's plain and it's simple and it kind of is on point with theme for me. So, you know, anywhere there are mermaids, there's likely to be pirates. So, yeah, um, I think the vite, 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 vibrant colors of this deck um, just really um, blend well with the neutral tones of this deck. And I think they're just really going to make a fun pairing together. So, yeah, that's that's the intent is to use these two as my little deck family. And, yeah, um, that's the plan. So, and again, deck bag out of this fabric. Here's the fabric without anything covering it so you can take a look at it. But as I was looking at this, this just so much reminded me of this deck. So as you think of the world, you have your globe here with your world on it and your captains. We have a suit. Um, one of the minor arcanas is a suit of swords. So here's your swords represented here. And the star, that would be, I don't know if I'll end up getting it on the bag or not, but on the wrap, but here's, here's the star represented. And here is your um, wheel, and that's right here. And here's your strength card with your um, little lady at the wheel there. And then over here, you can see the wheel right here. So yeah, I just really think this piece of fabric just capture this deck perfectly. So I was really excited when I found this and was able to, to get a little bit of that for the deck bag. Like I said, I don't know how much is really going to show up um, in the deck bag, but I might use, I might take half of it for the deck bag and then just use the other half um, just as a, a, what do you call it? A cloth, <laughs> a tarot cloth to put the spread out on when I'm working with this particular deck. There's definitely enough here to do that. So Anyway, I think it'll do double duty for me. So yeah, perfect match, fun. So just a super quick video today. I wanted to pop on and show you my Pirates deck, what I'm gonna pair it with, and then show you the journal that I got or 
future journal that I'm going to use for, for the pirates. And when I get this journal finished, I'll use it to record my readings for the pirates deck. And if I obviously do any of the readings with the Dame Darcy, you know, that'll be in there too. So again, I just thought this was a really fun kind of a pairing here with all of these together. And I was excited to pop on here and show you guys my finds. If I do end up altering this deck, I'll come back on and do a video for you, um, showing you what it looks like for the before and after. Okay, as soon as I pressed end on the video and thought I was done, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and mod these and trim them down. And I got to looking at it and I'm gonna take it off just underneath the word pirate. I think that will um, bring it a little bit closer to the artwork. It's gonna look a little wonky on the back because of the way that the borders are. Um, I, I don't wanna lose all of the borders because that'll really kind of eat into the keywords here. I don't know, I may, I may. I'm gonna start small <laughs> and if I like it and then I want to keep being brave and move on, then maybe I'll take some more off. But I think just taking it underneath the word pirates here um, will make it look a little bit better and a little bit more manageable for me. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in. I did some pre-measurements here. and Let's go ahead and slide it in the paper trimmer and see what it looks like. All right, so I've got it all lined up. I've got my little marker over here on the side and we'll give it a chop. Ooh, scary. Okay, let's see. So there it is. Like I said, the artwork is gonna look a little bit wonky on the back, but mm, if I take it to, yeah, I would definitely lose the card here, um, the image, so I can't do that. So there it is, and let me go ahead and corner round it. I've got a corner rounder from We Are Memory Keepers. I've had this, I, I do paper crafting, so I've had this in my stash for a long time. And there's two options. There's a half inch option for the rounding and a quarter inch. And I'm gonna try, you know, always start small. It's like a haircut, you can't put it back on. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pop it in here and we'll see. Yeah, and that looks pretty. I'm not sure this is meant to be today. I keep my phone keeps dying. Um, but anyway, there it is. This is what it's going to look like after everything gets um, trimmed down. Like I was saying, I just it, it's going to work a lot better for me. So here's the backs. A little bit wonky, but I don't mind. In the end. It, um, it's worth it to have a deck that is more manageable for me to use and shuffle and hold. So, well, shoot, my phone died. <laughs> but not to waste any time while my phone died, I went ahead and just kept cutting. I figured it was gonna work out okay. Um, so this is what the cards look like with one of the sides trimmed just underneath that word pirates. So. That's just the, oops, better in frame this way. So that's just the teeniest little bit there. Um, it's not that teeny. I mean, that's a pretty sizable chunk actually, but it's just a teeny little bit underneath the word pirates is what I was trying to say with that. Um, so that takes that off. And as you can see, it also takes some of the border on the front of the deck off and it leaves it. I just, I love looking at these little bits when you're in the middle of trimming a deck. I just think it's so fun. Anyway, I'll likely save a couple of these and use it in my journal. But, so here's what they look like. I think they turned out pretty good. And this is what they're gonna end up looking like on the back. It's a little wonky. You're still gonna have this border here. It's gonna be missing on that side, but it's gonna just make the deck a lot more manageable for me and uh, a lot easier to, to hang on to. Um, so again, just a, a quick comparison. That's um, with the big thick pirate's border 
and without. So I'm going to finish up a couple more of these. This is, um, this is what it looks like completely trimmed and corner rounded. I think that's what I was showing you when, when, um, my camera died is I was corner rounding it and my corner rounder, you can either do a quarter of an inch or a half an inch. And I went ahead and started with a quarter inch and I think the quarter inch, it might be a little bit smaller, but I think if I went the half inch, it probably would be a little bit too much. So I stuck with the quarter inch. I think that is a pretty good match on either side of it, but there, this is what it looks like. And again, I just think this is definitely more manageable. Okay. I'm going to keep going. Almost slid it in the wrong direction there. That would have been horrible. All right, I think I probably will finish the rest of these off camera. The last thing I wanna do is put one in here upside down and chop it and uh, ruin the car. <laughs> so anyways, I'll be right back and I'll have them all finished up. All right, here is the finished product all trimmed up. I am so much happier with these trimmed. Even though the border on the back is wonky looking, it's still worth it to me to be able to have a car that I can handle a little bit better and doesn't draw me off to the side. Like every time I flipped a card over, my focus went right over to the word pirate. <laughs> so it just, it wasn't working for me. So. I love it so much better trimmed just with a slight border. You can't trim it any farther than this or you would definitely, I would be losing a few things. I would be losing one, my keywords, which I didn't realize because I didn't have my glasses on. <laughs> I didn't realize that the keywords were on here and I need those. Um, and if you trim like to the borders here, I think you can probably see how much of this you would lose. Uh, you would lose all of the keywords, potentially some of the artwork. So I don't know that I would take it down any farther. And if I take it down on this side, I don't know, I, I think I'm gonna lose artwork over here. So I think this is a good compromise. Looks wonky over here, but a good compromise. So here for uh, the Three of Swords, Heartbreak, Tragedy, Betrayal, little keywords along the bottom there. And like I said, it just, it really um, makes the artwork pop. And I can really envision these now in, in what they look like kind of carved into the, as, into the wood like they were talking about. It actually makes me really curious in seeing what those look like. So here's your Cabin Boy of Pistols. Uh, enthusiasm, innovation, and impatience. <laughs> so I I really love this now with it being trimmed. Here's the Ace of Swords, Triumph, um, Force, and Intellect. So the keywords are really helpful for me. So I definitely want to leave them on. Lady Captain Pistols. What does that say? Attentiveness, energy, and se sexuality. So... Yeah, this is um, really gonna work out for me a lot better with them being trimmed. So yeah, super happy with that. Anyway, there it is. I didn't think it was gonna turn into a deck mod, but the more I, I looked at the deck um, and I just kept focusing on the word off to the side, I'm like, no, I, uh, I think that's gonna go. <laughs> so there we go. That's the finished deck trimmed and I'm pleased with the outcome for the images. Okay, thanks everyone. Have a great rest of your evening and I'll talk to you soon, bye.